Well, these Puma, we can't. We don't. The timing's all off tonight, so we can't risk it. Sure. Chef mother, it's the new stage mother. It's good. Baby pageant. I think it's very pretty. I'm glad we went. We switched it to white. I'm so happy to switch. Okay, come here. I want to show you. It's delicious. It doesn't really matter. What is that? What kind of a heads up do you need? Hi, Terry. You want to start? Yeah, how long would it take? Okay, back to dinner. Okay, here we go. What up? I think I'll probably finish this. What is this? I gotta go. What is this? It's a play on strawberry. Here, I'll do that. Oh, you're out of jail. I haven't got one. There's going to be a little bit of nitrogen frozen. Oh, you're sneaking. That's the one I pointed out to you. Oh, really? Yeah. You're doing water two dogs. Two dogs, however you feel. Express yourself. You didn't have to wipe down these two rounds of plates. Oh, yeah, so what else? Express yourself. Do you have any more to the champagne? What? I don't think Greg would like the way it would look. Can I remind you this one? Yeah. Yours personally? Oh, yeah, that's my good. $25 for yes. the Good news. Thank you. Oh, you, go. you know what, honey? When you're done with this table with the champagne gel, I'll just yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I had no idea they'd probably give it. I'm in need of some charm. I have rainbow colors. I'm going to come by. Okay. I'm going to email this to you, Greg. It's really cool. Okay. 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 Yo! What are you doing? Lines instead of dots. No, dots. I know you're joking. You're so joking. I didn't want it though. Dots, come on. They need to be consistent unless you want to redo 400, which I doubt you do. Yes. Yeah, we have 35 minutes. We're good. You want a, you want a picture? I can pose if you want. Oh, shoot. Always better. Right, the lines look better. G-square. Yes. Do whatever you want. Thank you. In 1991, with her husband, the late Stephen J. Ross, and she's also the founder of the Ross Institute for Advanced Study and Innovation in Education and the Ross Global Academy, an innovative public charter school in New York City, which opened its doors in 2006. Courtney has more philanthropical enterprises than James Ingram has hit songs. Um, She's a major benefactor of numerous educational and cultural institutions, but tonight I think it's only appropriate that we focus on her contributions to the Ross School. The school wouldn't exist without Courtney, and it couldn't continue to survive without her, and I know that I'm not the only Ross parent who is incredibly grateful to her. I mean, imagine we all have a really hard time managing the education and thinking about the education of our own kids. And here, Courtney, in the course of doing that herself, founded this incredible school and has contributed to the well-being of hundreds, if not thousands, of students. There's a lot of statuary around here, but I really think there ought to be a statue to Courtney Ross. Please welcome Courtney. I'm short, so I'd like to just hold the mic. <laughs> of course, I can't go anywhere without students. And I think that um, tonight is so joyful. We have so many people that have come to support this effort. 
And I think I'm so grateful to everybody who has worked behind the scenes and in front of the scenes and is and the people that are here as guests that uh, support this endeavor. <clears throat> but I have to say that the motivation is really for me about the children. And I know my daughter will really be upset with me to say that she was my inspiration and her father's inspiration to be able to think about what was gonna be needed to educate children of this generation. And because she was born on the summer solstice, which is June 21st, that's tomorrow, I wanna to wish her a happy birthday. I'll pay for that when I get home, I can assure you. So, <laughs> I had to do it. The, I think I, my heart is so full of joy tonight because when I look around the room, there's so many alumni here tonight, so many faculty, people who bought tables that couldn't be here, that gave, to say, I wanna give our table to alumni or to faculty. And that's a wonderful thing, and, and because then the community uh, that creates this is actually being able to participate in an evening like this. And those of you who know me may have heard about the saga of the creation myth of Ross School, which was 18 years ago. But one of the most profound mem memories I have is wanting so much to have children from the Shinnecock Reservation come here. And I didn't know how to approach the elders or the um, members of the Shinnecock community to be able to gain our trust, to be able to have their children come here. And I remember having an opening and, and um, re for recruiting and explaining to people, we only had then about like 20 some odd children. And I remember a mother coming and was there with two little children, one named Sunshine, and the other named Starleaf. Starleaf. <laughs> and it took me forever. I had to go to the reservation, I had to convince them because, after all, we were starting too, so what did they know about us? So. But our first child from scholarship student, of course, from the Shinnecock Reservation was Starling. And and I remember Starleaf over many years of going through our school. And I remember one time, because quite a few of the children who have come from the Shinnecock, sorry, children, come from the Shinnecock Reservation are, are, are real oral learners, which is understandable as part of their culture. And this is one of the things that we, we have learned here is that, that each individual student learns in a different way. Because she teaches learners of all ages and has this incessant in what? Instinctive. And insatiable. Sorry. Instinctive. Instinctive. Curiosity. There's absolutely nothing she's not curious about. And if you run a, an educational institution, curiosity is at the base. Because if you don't have curiosity, you don't have learning. So over the years, I watched uh, Martha Stewart, and I've watched her move in to and utilize every technology, every form of communication to be able to teach. And also to create really a, an incredible business. You know, so she is really an icon for women. Um, she's an icon for students. She's an icon in, in, for teachers. And I don't think there could be any person that we could honor here that would be more suited to receive uh, uh, the appreciation that we extend tonight to Martha Stewart. And I hope all of you feel exactly the way I do. Thank you very much.
beautiful, my favorite flower, the peony. Well, thank you very, very much, Courtney, and um, I'm very, very honored to be uh, recognized here with a scholarship in my name. It's a great pleasure and, uh, and, and a great honor. Um, at my company, Martha Stewart Living, I wear many hats. I am a TV show host, a book author, an editor, a designer, a cook, crafter, and what connects these disparate uh, roles is my fervent uh, desire to inspire, educate, and to inform. Uh, always, first and foremost, in my mind. As Courtney just mentioned, uh, I am. But I'm also a, t a student, and I try to learn something new every day. And I've said that time and time again, uh, to learn something new every day is uh, very important when you're a teacher, because if you don't keep learning, you certainly can't be a good teacher. Um, and as a student and as a teacher, I am an enormous, uh, impressed with the Ross School, its philosophy and its mission. In fact, we featured the school on the Martha Stewart Show, and everyone who worked on the piece uh, was in awe and is in awe of the school's beautifully environment and its uniquely progressive vision. I've been watching it uh, ever since it was founded, and uh, I am, and I have sent lots of students here, and uh, continue, and will continue to do so because I certainly believe in mission. The world is changing at an increasingly rapid rate, as we all know. Ross School's innovative method, its interdisciplinary curriculum, and its enthusiastic embrace of new technologies will make a big difference in helping to prepare the next generation to be positive contributors uh, to our uh, global community. I am very proud to present the Martha Stewart Scholarship to Ross School to a young man who embodies the school's dedication to innovation and, and integrative uh, thinking. And I am thrilled that he is also passionate about the culinary arts. In fact, he has made our dessert tonight, which is a strawberry shortcake. Um, and I can't wait to taste it. He is only 14 years old, but Greg Grossman is already a culinary prodigy, and he's been catering things since he was 11. Uh, Greg's passion for cooking has been nurtured here at the Ross School, where he has been cooking with the chefs in the school's um, cafe for uh, several years. Uh, in fact, the wellness and nutrition program, along with the science curriculum, have informed Greg's practice of molecular gastronomy. Uh, for your information, that is a scientific discipline involving the study of physical and chemical processes that occur in cooking. Uh, I won't go into the particulars of molecular gastronomy right now, but you will all have an opportunity to experiment uh, with it and experience it firsthand when you eat your dessert, which has something with it, uh, the strawberry shortcake has something called an espresso Irish coffee with it. So that sounds good, I can't wait. Uh, Greg, I am very, very impressed with your passion and your talent. Just be sure to keep your grades up, all right? And there's always room for improvement, you know that. Now, please join me here so I may present you with the scholarship certificate. Which I may have to thank since I don't have the scholarship certificate with me right here. Oh my God. Will somebody hand me the certificate? I think I was right. Anyway, it's coming. Right? Okay. And uh, so, can you tell me the recipe for the Nespresso Irish coffee that goes with the strawberry shortcake? I think you can work something out. Yeah. Well, no, no, but describe it. Okay. Well, we worked with Nespresso coffee on this, and they have an amazing grand crew of espresso coffee. And uh, we wanted to use some classic pairings that went with it. So, we decided what do people enjoy more than Irish coffee? So, uh, you know, we took the element of the cream and the espresso, but we made a caviar kind of little balls out of the espresso, and that has using, a video. Using an extreme technology? Extreme technology, yes, mostly like technique, what? but uh, it uses a, an alginate gel, oh, good. and uh, it gels in contact with calcium. <laughs> so uh, we use a low viscosity calcium chloride. <laughs> And of course, you got to top that off with some whiskey foam. Now, where'd you get the strawberries? Uh, the strawberries were all local. Oh, good, I hope so. so. 
Did you pick them yourself? Some of them. Okay. <laughs> Not 1,200 of them. Okay. We did get a few. So. Okay, good. Well, I look forward to it, and I and I, I congratulate you because uh, I love your kind of enthusiasm and your inquisitiveness and your intelligence. Thank you very much. Thank you. So I wanted to thank you all for being here, and uh, it's been a real honor being associated with someone as respected as Ms. Stewart, and uh, she's been an inspiration for people around the world looking to start in uh, the culinary arts and everything, so it's really an honor to receive such an award from her. And uh, as, of course, a special thank you to the Raw School for facilitating my needs and beginning my passion for the culinary arts with their amazing cafe. <laughs> Liz Dobbs always puts out the freshest foods and has gotten most kids to enjoy leafy collard greens, spinach, tofu, and of course different types of grains. Most kids. Which I assure you before Ross they would have not even touched it. So, <laughs> working with such an amazing staff as Liz and all of her cafe staff here that do such an amazing job every day. I have to say, it's been an honor to work and learn from them every day, as I do. And uh, it's been amazing to be here, and uh, I hope you enjoy your dessert. And a special thank you to Miss Ross for creating an environment where students can thrive and learn with a sense of well-being in every class and sense of education in their lives. So. video that was produced by our wonderful filmographer, Ms. Marie Masiak, and it will show how we've been working among the past few days. Thank you so much for being here. really is what made me start to love cooking. I mean, uh, growing up cooking with my family and uh, coming to Ross Cuisine, it, uh, it really opened my eyes. Eating really organically, sustainable, and seasonally is one of the things we can do to help our earth and to eat healthy. Of course we want strawberries. We okay. want them to be sense. Oh. organic. They're just spray crazy with strawberries. It's 450 desserts. Yes. We'll be plating. Again, be going on black plates. On plates. Constructed and...